Welcome to Amnesia The Bunker. This is a survival horror game made by Frictional Games, a developer that I absolutely adore. They've exclusively made horror games, and I've loved every single one of them from their old Penumbra series, all the way to Amnesia and Soma. And I can't wait to try this new Amnesia title. I've deliberately kept myself in the dark about it, I know almost nothing, but I'm pretty sure that this represents a bit of a departure for their usual style in that normally there's zero combat at all. It's all about surviving and staying alive, running away, hiding, not about fighting. And I think there's actually real fighting in this. I know you have a gun and I think you can use it, question mark. Um, they actually did have a tiny, tiny bit of combat in one of their old Penumbra games. But I, I wouldn't say that it was significant. Yeah, let's get into it. I played it for all of, I don't know, 30 seconds just to make sure that my settings were set correctly. Otherwise, going into this completely fresh, start a new game. Uh, let's overwrite my old one here. Uh, yeah, easy, normal and hard. I don't think I should do hard on a first playthrough. But let's go with normal. I have the volume nice and ear-splittingly loud. Appropriate for a horror game. To survive this war, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good goddamn sense to do whatever's necessary. I can teach you the first. The second's up to you. From someone I didn't have the time to read. All right, this is literally as far as I play when I was testing settings. I have no idea what happens after this. Oh, we have a body. Yes. I love it when you can look down and see your own body. Uh, I know that R brings out your pistol. Which currently, as you can see by the light coming through the chambers, has no ammo. I'm guessing ammo is going to be a very scarce resource. Oh, I almost forgot that in all frictional games you can pick up, like, everything. Yes. Closer, further, with the scroll wheel. Nice. Oh, we can lean. But, does it have... fill up a bucket physics? I'm disappointed. Can we crouch? Yep. Sprint? Yep. I'm taking this with me. I can bonk someone over the head with it. It's better than an empty uh, pistol. Ugh. We have a flashlight or something. Uh, I can move these heavy boxes. I don't think I want to go out yet. Is there anything here? Oh, that's ammo. Hold down R to check how many bullets you've got. Oh god, this is already going to be horrifying, I can tell. <laughs> All right. So that looks in the chambers. Nothing. Left mouse while holding down R to load a bullet. Okay, I already love this. Oh god, I love frictional games. It's not just a simple, you know, press R to reload and it just does the thing. It's like a whole involved thing. So do you load them one at a time? Is it going to be chambered so that it's the next shot? Or do you have to like keep clicking through to get it? Can you, uh, can you rotate this thing at all? Doesn't seem so. I assume it's the next shot. Oh, the noises! The sound design is always fantastic in frictional games. But 
Yeah, that clunk. Mmm. Beautiful. Oh, there's more. Don't tell me each one is just one shot. Yeah, each box is only one freaking has only one shot in it. That is very inefficient. We can throw objects, yes. Do we need to? I think we do. Aha! Yes. I think I want that cinder block again. Oh, it's kind of broken. But if it can break a door, I assume it can do damage to whatever we're going to be shooting. I don't know what we're going to be shooting. I mean, we're in a battlefield, so you would think people, but, you know, it's probably going to be monsters. Can I sh yeah, you can shoot while you're shimmying. But you can't shimmy and have your pistol out at the same time. Yes, ammo. Man, reloading is slow. You are not going to be pressing R and then shooting an enemy in the middle of combat. Ah. Jesus. Fucking hell. Oh! Someone killed him. Thank you! Oh, I was thinking maybe I should run past them all while they were shooting at me. I'm glad I didn't try that. This would have, uh, slowed me down. I'm gonna push this out of the way just in case I have to run back this way. There. You've been injured? Hold tab to see how bad it is. That looks pretty bad. Uh, do I... So I just looked at how, how fucked I am. I can't do anything? I assume we'll find a med kit, or bandages or something. Maybe that's what this is. Whoa! Can be used for craft- oh, it has crafting! Okay, that's new. Pick the other cloth piece, press tab to access your inventory page, combine them to craft a bandage. Okay. Is that a key? Oh no, it's just scissors. I'd feel better if I close this. Is it lockable? Yes! That makes me feel slightly better. Alright, let's craft. Wait. Do you not hold tab? Do you just... Oh yeah, you just press it. Standard issue uniform, ripped now into rags. Oh, so you just drag stuff onto other stuff. I wonder what these two slots are for. And I wonder if this is as big as our inventory gets. It looks like there's room for maybe upgrades or something. Here. Maybe we can find like a bigger satchel. But at the moment it's quite cramped. For use on small wounds, capable of getting a soldier back on their feet, even if not fully recovered. So we can just use it from here. Oh, we can assign it to a hotkey as well. Yeah, so you can use it from this window, or use it from a hotkey. Does the game pause? It does. It says it's paused. 
I wonder if that's going to be the case during combat, though. Let's try putting it on a hotkey. I guess we should probably put the pistol in number one and then healing on number two. So we equip it. Yeah, hold on right click and then left to use it. Alright, how are we looking now? No blood. As always, Frictional Games loves to give you a uh, kind of in-universe indicator for, for things rather than having UI elements like health bars. Grenades! I guess uh, I should assign that to something as well. Number two. Uh, what does that say about them? After arming will explode in a matter of seconds. Mm-hmm. Looks like you use it the same way as everything else. Right click to ready it. Oh, I need to blow this up, don't I? Yeah, that would be loud as hell, huh? In an enclosed environment like that? That looks like an explosive. Do I have to blow it up with a grenade or can I shoot it? Is that a grenade? Something just flew. Oh shit. Uh, what do I do? Where are you? Me. Fuck, this is not good. Do I run through, maybe? It is so fast, fast. You dine on me, We make it out of this hell together. Now follow me. We're nearly there. Roll, my friend. There you have it, huh? Ah, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. I can't walk. 
Jesus, they look like a ghost. Oh, I think I better keep going. You're now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. So how the hell did we get here? Were we captured and then they put us here as an experiment? The bunker? I assume that's where we are. Did we somehow manage to escape and fall into some bunker that just happened to be nearby full of monsters? Alright, you can rotate objects too. Breaking boxes could be useful. It could be stuff inside of them. I mean, these have like medical symbols. So, ah, yeah. Cloth. How am I doing? I mean, Jesus, I look grimy as hell and it looks like I've got some nasty chunks, but I guess they're healing because they're not bloody. What was that? Medkit. For use when wounded on the battlefield. Proper use can leave even the most wounded soldier feeling their best. Okay, so that's a lot more powerful than just a bandage. Oh no, please turn that on. Hmm. I don't like that. I mean, I know it's just a cross, but it just somehow feels... Blair Witchy or something. everything. What breaks? All notes that you pick up can be found under the notes tab of your inventory. Or you can just pick up the last, or read the last one. Right away. Dr. Josinski, Amnesia Cause. 10th of July, 1916. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of the 9th of July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Josinski.
Hmm. Don't like that. That's bad. Holes are bad. Darkness. Darkness also bad. Turns out noises are bad too. No luck. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need bolt cutters or... I don't know, maybe an explosive would do it. Can I possibly break it by throwing something at it? Probably need something a bit sturdier than wood. If that's to ever work. Is that a flashlight? Hmm. I have to bring it out or put away. I wonder if it has battery life or something. I don't have to charge it. But be careful not to make too much noise. Oh, is it a wind-up? Well, kind of. I didn't expect that sort of a mechanism, though. A pull string. How long does it produce light for? Not long. No, that was like a minute. 9th of July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. What happened? This thing I have done. Eating repulses them. What? Did they somehow end up eating... Like, did we become a monster and start eating people? Or did we eat our friend's body for some reason? Dr. Jasinski again. Autopsy of Reynard, 14th of July, 1916. Body of Sergeant Reynard, multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds, every rib cracked, skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to him? I guess that was us. What the fuck? Is that what they looked like? That's what they recovered. I think- Jesus Christ. Uh... Oh, there's a hatch. They just dump steaming corpses down here. Okay. Fuel. I guess they used it to burn the corpses. Why? Mm. P. 
Petrol, highly flammable, for use in the generator. Can be poured in empty bottles or on the ground. Okay, if we put it in empty bottles, we could probably use it as a Molotov, perhaps? On the ground, I guess we could create, well, our own burning pools. To seal off entrances or something, perhaps? I don't have any way to start a fire at the moment, but I'm sure I'll find a lighter or something. Yeah, that's claw marks. You know, that is a surprisingly small hole. These creatures can't be very big. Hmm, that one's bigger. Get it. Do the job, please. Alright, you've got it. Am I on a time limit here? I don't know. In the pantry, that's in there. Oh, you can have like a left hand item and a right hand item. Okay. Let's load it up. Oh! Fuck. Was I too slow? Did I have a chance to kill him? Sorry, man. If it just ate, am I safe now? I mean, for a bit. I love how the gun in the right hand stays there when you go to pull the thing. Bricks might be useful for smashing open some locks. Okay, I need to make some space. Let's craft a bandage. Oh, that's another bandage. Don't need it at the moment. Would it let me use... A bandage, even if I don't need it. I'm not gonna risk it.
I haven't explored over that way yet. But... Oh. Let's see if this breaks. That didn't sound very powerful. Oh, shit! What the fuck? It started overhead, like above this, and then it went down there. I saw the dust coming off the ceiling. I said be careful of making noise with this wind-up thing. Hope I'm not attracting it. Okay, is there anything else we could break? Nope, don't. Yeah, what about this? What the fuck? Did that work? Displaced the door, but it didn't break the chain. Uh. That's interesting. Displaced it. <laughs> now it's stuck in there. Ah. Enough. I can see enough that I can pick stuff up, but I don't need any of it. Looks like it's just healing. Definitely not how you're intended to get in there. Before we go through that door I opened, what's over here? Ah, it's locked. Wait a second. I can't fit through these holes, can I? No, thank god. I think we're safe now. Oh. And I'm hearing safe room music is what it sounds like. Someone's tag. Q for low. Note from head clerk regarding dog tags. Important, when processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. I think I looked at the other side of it. Didn't I? Wait, where did the, where did the tag go? I mean, it's not a note, and it's not a photo. What is it? Such a limited inventory. 
Would it be worth dropping stuff in this room? Just to store it for later? From Dr. Josinski, rats and burnt corpses. Update to all medical and mortuary personnel, the rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body, they're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to Father Durai about this matter. He will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must. Okay. That's what the fuel's for. Well, one of the things the fuel's for. Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't think I need the fuel on me. Well... Well, yeah, I don't, because I don't have any way to even ignite it. And I don't need two bandages. Should I keep one, or just the medkit? I'm just gonna keep the medkit. Definitely want the grenade with me. Oh, this box is for storage. You can save your progress by lighting this lamp. Can I light it, though? I don't have a lighter, but maybe it has some sort of ignition mechanism. Hmm, yeah. Some grimy notes. Alright, what have we got? This is the main map of the bunker. It will be updated with objectives and details as you progress. Oh. Uh, how do- oh, WASD to move around the map, okay. Right, so we are here. Oh, the generator room is right next to us. Right down there, apparently. Yeah, each of the yellow doors are l lockable, question? No. No, that just indicates that it's a door. Every single door is there. Yeah, doctor's office. Yep, yep, yep. That door that leads to the area that's green, That's that door is locked for us. It'd be nice to be able to get through there. Whoa. Okay, it's fine. Normal. Well, I don't know if it's fine, but it's normal. What are we gonna do with the generator? Obviously we can fuel it up to keep it going. Okay. What happens if it runs out? Then we just have no electricity down here whatsoever? Does that mean we just die? Or what? Okay, well, it looks like the only way to progress is to go through that door, or back out and around, which also leads to where this door leads to. But for now, I think we should go check out the generator. You can 
power the generator by filling with fuel and pulling the lever. Oh, so is it not running right now? We do have some light, but maybe that's just like emergency battery backup. Maybe we're going to have proper light once the generator's up. Pocket watch. Pocket watch with stopwatch functionality can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, how's that going to work? Um, let's get some things hotkeyed. Gun, grenade, watch. Oh, Q for low. Any code you find is written down in the code tab in your inventory. Three, two, nine, five. We should burn this body or the rats will come, right? Oh, but again, how do I catch them on fire? Well, I don't know. But I can start with saturating the body and go from there, I guess. I don't know how much we need. Yeah, there's no magic prompt to light it. Oh, wait, did I just use it all? Was that it? Shit. I assumed there'd be a lot more in there. Keep on at all times. The fucker hates light. The fucker. So there's only one? Unknown author, keep the light on. The beast hunts in the dark. The light is our only chance and the generator our only hope. It must be kept fueled at all times, day and night. A continuous rotation of runs to the main fuel supply must be maintained. W watch each other's backs. Keep each other safe. Do not let the light go out, for all our sakes. Continuous rotation of runs to the main fuel supply. I need to look at where that is. Fuel and fire. Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. So I think I can catch the fuel on fire by shooting it, I guess. I really don't want to use the ammo for that. I'm, I assume there's going to be a cigarette lighter or matches or something. get a bigger inventory.
That didn't raise... Oh. That didn't raise it much. Oh, it auto-switched to the other canister. So each pour is all that's in there. How long is that going to run for? I don't know. Okay. Ah, yes. Set it. How long do we got? Hmm. I mean, is this game time or is this real time? I think it's game time. It looks like it's gonna last all of, like, fucking five minutes or something. Yeah, turn that off. I mean, it says keep it running at all time, but, like, seriously, there's no way it's gonna last a significant amount of time. And I think we're safe in here? I think? I think it only... Like, I probably only want to turn that on when I'm just about to head out. I assume. I hope. I don't see any holes around here. And since you can save, I assume it's safe. Yeah, I think we're okay. Alright, where's the main fuel supply? There's a wine cellar. Wait, hold on. There. That makes it a lot easier. Mission storage? Huh. And the prison is just completely... Like, it doesn't show anything. Arsenal? Maybe the main fuel could be there. Maintenance? Could be there. Yeah, it's not explicitly marked on the map, which means it's somewhere far away. Probably. Main exit, so that's the thing I need to blow up to get through it and to leave this place, right? Okay. Well... I think I'm going to end the episode here because I think going out there is going to be a whole thing. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to venture out of the safety of the safe room with our, I don't know, couple minutes of light and pray for the best. <laughs>